You've probably seen or at least heard that uber cringeworthy tape of Justin Trudeau referring to Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinzo as the leader of China twice, believe it or not. It's a horrible error given the long and not so harmonious history between those two Asian nations. And it reminds me of that joke that ends with the punchline, Iceberg, Rosenberg, what's the difference? You know the joke I'm talking about. Anyway, Justin was rightfully crucified for the geographical error, but he also made an historical error that went unchecked. Here, check out this snippet if you can stomach it. What a real pleasure it is to welcome uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe uh, to Ottawa for the second time, uh, to Canada for the second time in the year, to Ottawa uh, for the first time uh, of this Monday, uh, on the occasion of uh, 90 years of, of uh, diplomatic relations between Canada and China, uh, a, a Canada and Japan, a very uh, auspicious, auspicious moment. First of all, why does our Prime Minister so often sound like Porky Pig on Ritalin? Um, uh, er, um, uh, er. Geez, will you just spit it out already? I mean, this guy gives birth to enough pregnant pauses to fill a maternity ward. But did you spot the historical error? Namely, Justin referring to 90 years of diplomatic relations between Canada and Japan? Really? 90 years? That means diplomatic relations began in 1929, according to my math. But didn't something happen between Japan and Canada from 1941 to 1945 that kind of interrupted those diplomatic relations? What was the name of that little thing again? Oh yeah, the Second World War. Or maybe, just maybe, Justin thought Canada was fighting alongside Japan during those years. Hey, he has such contempt for our vets and he has such love in his heart for our enemies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Omar Cotter. Would it really surprise anyone if Justin mixed up the good guys and the bad guys of yesterdecade? But really, can't he get anything right on the world stage? Then again, let's look at the plus side, shall we? At least our beloved Prime Minister, Mr. Dressup, didn't don the costuming of a geisha girl. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you travel.